Hello everybody, today I thought I would show you some of the work I already did at my course. Let's start with the smaller bits first. I'm going to show you everything I did for one part of the course which is called Design Studio. So the first thing we were supposed to do is build a research document. In here just architects and like buildings I got inspired by and each week they gave us a different architect that we should do research on. That's all in here and we have to include plans and sections and drawings. Then we also visited galleries and I took pictures in there and we had to include models. Here's another example. So that's the research document that we need to hand in also for the end of the project. It's really important they kind of base everything on this and at the beginning of the course we just had to do a couple of sketches from gallery visits and here's one of the sketch I did, it's not that great. And there's a wall. Our first project that didn't get assessed was to build a couple of boxes. We used cardboard and cut the cardboard with a scalper. We just needed to create these models to get a sense of space and to get ourselves familiar with the spaces. So we had to do a couple of these, another one and then a big one. We had to leave one side open. We were going to draw these and then put a figure into it and draw the figure as well. We had to put in a small one. I think this was to a scale of 1 to 100 and this one is to a scale of 1 to 50. We then just experienced how the scale affected the space. Here's some of the photographs I did. Here's one for example where there's the smaller one and the bigger one and then we had to draw the spaces this is a little bit embarrassing because it's not really that good we just need to do a whole bunch of sketches so this is another one i did with fine liners some people work with quite a lot of fine liners then moving on to the assessed project we did at the design studio we were basically giving 16 or so sugar cubes we were told to just kind of arrange them to create a space and then build a model out of that. So this is one of the models I did and we were told to leave off the roof. That's why it looks like this. I've just kind of taped it on so that you can see and we actually had to hand these in in the end as well. We were told to do about five of these. I know they look very similar but they are a little bit different. There's another two and this is the the last one I did and then in the end we were told to choose one of them in which we wanted to put in walls and windows to kind of create light so we were told to create a calm space and a fearful space and that only through putting in walls and windows so I chose this one and then we had to create some bigger models this is to scale of 1 to 50 something like that. You can see there's windows all over this and inside there are walls. This was my vehicle space. This was my calm space. I put in a few more windows in here to make it more calm. That was what the entire project was based on and then we also had to do a presentation sheet. So with the sugar cubes we had to do around like 20 options and then we had to sketch them and pick our five favorite ones and do a model out of these and my sketches are just these and then I picked five out of these so then I did the five models as you saw I decided on one model and then we had to do a couple of floor plans to see how we wanted to put in the walls and where we wanted to put in the windows and then we had to decide on one floor plan for calm and one fear. I don't even know if you will really be able to see this. This is my chosen design for fear. So this is just the floor plan. And then we just had to do a sketch in where we put in all the walls and all the windows. And this one is my chosen design for calm. And, and then we had to do presentation sheet. So this is my presentation sheet for fear. We had to put an isometric view onto the presentation sheet or kind of like a sketch. It didn't really have to be exactly isometrical and then we had to put on a bunch of pictures of the inside and the outside and that's what the peep holes were for and then we had to do sections sections are where you cut 
through a house. Those are my sections. And then the floor plan. And then I did the same thing for Calm. And that was my entire first project done. And I did something really nice and easy to get into it first. But it still took a lot of time. Especially doing all the models. Because you have to do them over and over again when they aren't right. And then for one of my other classes, which is called Design Communication, where we do a lot of floor plans and where we basically learn how to draw in an architectural way. I have a couple of things that I want to show you. So we had to kind of work with a scale a little bit here and do a ground floor and a top floor plan. Then we had to draw to scale of 1 to 50 and 1 to 100. 1 to 100 is the smaller one. So as the scale gets bigger, it gets smaller. Scale is something really confusing, but you will learn it and get used to it. And then we got given a sheet where we had a floor plan to 1, 2, 50 and we had to draw it to 1, 2, 100. So basically it got a little bit smaller. This is just the first draft I did, so it's definitely not perfect, but I'll show you anyway. Usually what you need to do is draw it first in pencil and then put it onto tracing paper with a fine liner. And then you hand that in and then we got given these elevations we're just meant to kind of copy this i did this in pencil and then i started tracing over it with fine liner and then i only have two more classes which uh, one of them is technical studies and the other one is on writing essay you write about an architect and you write about how he kind of influenced the time and the architecture. All of the tasks we could choose had to do with minimalism. And I just want to show you one thing for technical studies, just so you can see what it kind of is about. We had to design a door. It could be just any door. And then we had to do a, a technical drawing of it. And here's me just figuring it out. This is not what I'm going to be handing in. It's just like a sketch. The top one is the floor plan. It's from a view above. And this is the section where you cut through the door. This is the technical drawing. What kind of makes it technical is that you can like see the walls here and stuff. It's just in a lot of detail, whereas the normal floor plans wouldn't have that much detail. A door and walls, they would represent lines, whereas here you can like, kind of see what the wall is made out of. That's just little snippets I shared with you so that you got an insight to the course and so that you know if it's something that you want to do. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye!